Hi, welcome to iMindMap User. Tips, tricks and techniques for getting the most from Buzan's iMindMap. If you don't have a copy of the software, click on the link below this video right now and get your free trial. Welcome to this short video where I'm going to show you how you can quickly get started generating your own mind map in iMindMap. So I've opened up the software here. If you go up to the top left hand corner where you see this new button, click on the new button. You're then given the options for what your central image is going to look like. As you can see there are a variety of options there. So we're just going to randomly pick one. Let's pick that one. Now that's selected. I come down here and I type in new mind map because this is a new mind map I could put in anything I want there what you put in there is the information that represents the topic of the map click on create and bingo you've got the central image of the map now what we want to do is put some branches on this to expand on the key theme of this very simply all we do is bring our mouse to the center of the image we'll see a red spot there click on the red spot hold our mouse down and drag it in whatever direction we want the new branch to appear and then when it's at the length we want it we just simply let go now to annotate this and put a keyword on there we simply double click and this text box appears and we write new branch or whatever it is we want to go on there and there it is we simply do the same thing with all these other branches it's very very easy to create new branches and as you see it automatically produces them in a different color so having done each branch if I if I normally what you would do is you do the branch and add the text so I just want to show you how quickly you can create branches so if I wanted to have if I had an empty branch here I wanted to add text to simply click on there and write the information that I wanted to go on to there so you go second branch now what we want to do from here these are the main themes of this map to add other branches to expand on those all we simply do is come to the end of any of the branches and we see this blue circle with a red spot appear if we click on the red spot again and drag we get a new branch so by double clicking on there again the dialog box appears and we can put whatever it is we want to go on to the map there you go, small branch, and simply just do the same thing. So very quickly, we can add lots and lots of new branches to our ever-growing mind map and then add the keyword. And it really is as simple as that. So that is how you get started in creating your first mind map in iMindMap. That was another tip, trick, or technique for getting the most from Buzan's iMindMap from us at iMindMap User. To get a free 7-day trial of iMindMap, simply click on the link below this video right now.